Mary, are you going to be here next week? Yeah. Jason took his day off too. We'll be there as we planned. Good. It's been six months since I've seen you guys, so I'm looking forward to it. Are you flying? No. We'll drive. What? By car? Yeah. Jason should have booked the flight. But somehow, he didn't get the tickets. So we are driving. I see. But are you okay? You had really bad car sickness when you were a kid. It's quite a distance. It's gonna be a long drive. I'm fine. I'll take anti sickness medicine. Jason said I should just take the medicine and fall asleep like I always do. I see. I feel bad for Jason, but I'm going to sleep the whole day. The only problem is where to park. There's only room for one car there. Ah, don't worry about that. Whenever we have guests to drive up to our house, I ask my neighbor. He should be okay with parking there. Thanks, that would be great. I'll let Jason know. He was worried about that. Yeah, give him my best. I wonder if I should get the driver's license soon. I'm the only one in my class who doesn't have a license at my age. It's indeed more convenient to get one. I hear that even people with motion sickness are fine when driving a line. I'm really bad at directions. I'm not confident driving a car. Well, if you can usually get around by train or bus, you don't have to rush to get a driver's license. And you have a reliable husband. That's true. Jason seems to like driving. Well, I'll think about the driver's license later. I'll see you next week. Your mom and I will be waiting for you. See you soon. Mary? Where are you? It's already 5 p.m. You're coming today, right? Mary? You always let us know when you were about to get here. What's going on? Maybe you're sleeping in the car. Let us know when you are up, okay? Mom is worried about you too. I'll text Jason. Hi, Jason. I'm sorry to bother you while you're driving. Can you tell me where you are? Mary told us you guys will be here around new. My wife and I were worried. I've tried calling her on the phone, but maybe she's sleeping? I'd appreciate it if you could reply soon. Hello, James. Hi, Jason. Thanks for your reply. Are you okay to drive? I'm not driving now. What's going on? I tried to contact Mary, but she has been waiting to reply for a long time. I thought something might be wrong. Huh? Isn't she there yet? What? I thought you guys were driving. Is she not with you? I just dropped her off at the airport. I'm not heading that way. Hmm? Yes, she was flying there. She told me you couldn't get tickets. Yeah, you guys were driving down this time. Mary doesn't have a driver's license. Ah, I see. Unfortunately, I've got a business trip. I'll be using the car, so I asked her to go to by herself. Business trip? Didn't you have days off? Well, my company does these things. My boss would call me in whether it was my day off or not. Ugh. I managed to get one seat for Mary. I'm sorry I couldn't make it. Well, that can't be helped. I thought Mary had contacted you. I should have let you know too. No, you don't have to worry about it. It's possible that Mary just forgot to mention it. Her plane should have landed many hours ago, though. 
It's weird that I haven't heard from her. It's not like she could overslept. Hmm, maybe she took the wrong plane? No, that can't be right. There's no way she could have taken the wrong airplane. I know. I'll try to contact Mary. If you hear from her, let me know. If I hear from her first, I'll let you know too. Right, okay. Jason, I found out where Mary was. She was hit by a car in Charleston and was rushed to the hospital. She's at South Charleston Hospital. But why in Charleston? It's a long way from your house. It's in the other direction from my house too. Why was she hit by a car when she was supposed to fly from Jacksonville? Well, the details don't matter right now. I'm on my way to South Charleston Hospital. Please head to the hospital immediately. Dad, I'm sorry I haven't been in touch with you. I got in an accident. Mary! I was so surprised to get a call from the police. I'm fine. I'm sorry for worrying you. No, I'm just glad you're okay. It sounds like your life is not in danger. Dad, you're on your way over here now, right? Yes, I'm on the plane with your mom. We should be there in about 20 minutes. So just wait for us. Thanks, Dad. By the way, how's your injury? I broke my leg. I have to stay in the hospital for a while. Ah, uh, well... The driver of the car called an ambulance right away. They're good people. So please don't raise your voice when you talk to them. I understand. But I have some questions. Why are you in Charleston? Jason told me you were on a plane. He... left me. Huh? He left you? Yeah. What do you mean? It's a lie that I was on a plane. He was supposed to drive me there. I know. I'll tell you the details when you get to the hospital. Okay. Bye. Take care. Jason? I haven't heard from you since then. Have you been able to get in touch with Mary? What? Ah, yes. Sorry. I've been busy with work. I haven't heard from Mary at all. Where is she? Did you hear from her? You were lying. What is it all of a sudden? Where are you right now? I'm at the hotel on a business trip. Business trip? Don't lie! What? You're on a trip with someone. <laughs> you put Mary in the car and pretended to head this way. But you went to Charleston, where you were supposed to meet up with a lady. Mary took some pills for motion sickness. She fell asleep right away. When you guys arrived at Charleston, and dragged her out of the car. Then, you let your girlfriend sit on the passenger seat. You left Mary there, and went on a trip with someone else. Wow, I didn't think you knew that much. I don't know where you got this information, but I'm so sorry. I thought it was going to work out. Do you admit what you did? Well, I had no choice. Mary got in the way. So I dumped her on the side of the road. I didn't think you would find this out so soon, though. She doesn't have any money with her. She's probably in trouble right now. What have you done to my daughter? I'll never forgive you. Huh? There's nothing you can do. I took away her wallet and phone. She can't call for help, nor can she stay in the hotel. I guess she'll have to camp out. Camp out? What are you talking about? Mary is with me right now. Huh? 
Why? How did you? Murray doesn't have a phone. She should be able to contact anyone. That's too bad. This was a real blessing, though. You took her old phone. Huh? She got a new phone just the other day. She kept the old one to transfer everything later. She decided to do that while she was with us. Her new phone was in her jacket pocket. You didn't take it away from her. Seriously? That's why no one contacted Mary's phone. She was not using this one. It's too late to find out now. Damn it! This isn't cool. Treat me with a phone that doesn't work. So, is she at your place now? No. She's at the hospital. What? Hospital? Didn't you see the message I sent? Huh? Take another look. Then, we'll talk. I saw it. Was Mary hit by a car in Charleston? No wonder you guys find her so soon. She's in the hospital now. I wanted to buy some time while I'm on vacation. Do you care about your vacation more than your wife? You're such an annoying jerk. It can be helped. I find someone more important than Mary. To be honest, Mary was in the way. I was going to take a vacation with my girlfriend. But then, she started talking about visiting you guys. Then why didn't you just let her go alone? Why did you take her to Charleston? I just wanted to play a prank on her. Mary has no sense of direction, right? If I left her there, she wouldn't be able to come home for a while. I thought I could enjoy a relaxing trip with my girlfriend. That's disgusting. You're a jerk. Yes, yes. I'm sorry I'm such a jerk. You don't care, huh? Aren't you apologizing to Mary? No, I want her to apologize to me. Huh? It's her fault for carrying around an old one. If she didn't, I wouldn't get in trouble with you. Well, I don't care what you say. You don't know where I am now, anyway. What if I said I do? Huh? You're at Waterway Spa, about 10 miles from Turistan. What? The bag you took from Mario has a GPS. I guess you didn't notice. A GPS? She was always getting lost because she had no sense of direction. I used to make her wear a GPS in her bag whenever she went out alone. As an adult, I don't worry about her getting lost anymore. But she thought it's still a good idea to make sure she doesn't leave it behind. So she kept it. Besides, that spot is owned by my brother. Your brother? You and Mary were in the same dorm in college. You guys went there for a graduation trip, right? Uh. Do you remember who was the organizer of that trip? Mary? Yes. Seriously? So, I'm going to your room now. Uh? That's a bit... You can't come here now. My girlfriend will be surprised. I'm not the only one who's going there. What? Your father will be there too. My dad? How did you... I caught him. He's even more angry than I am. I guess it's no wonder his son is such a jerk. Hey! Well, prepare yourself. Hey, look what you did. My dad took me back to my parents' house. I'm under his supervision now. I can't do anything I want anymore. Don't you realize what you've done? Mary is okay after all, right? I can't go on a vacation. 
I can't even go out to eat with her anymore. Are you two still dating? Isn't that bad? I'm breaking up with Mary. I can go out with anyone I want. I see. Then, are you ready to pay alimony? Yes, yes, I'll pay. My girlfriend's family is rich. They'll pay for anything you say. Well, I think your girlfriend is Ashley, right? Do you know her? I heard you and Mary were also in the same dorm. That's right. I was after her to begin with. But she's beautiful and popular, so she always had a boyfriend. I thought Mary was not the best, but good enough. But recently, Ashley broke up with her boyfriend, and I finally got my chance. A chance to marry a beautiful woman whose family has a lot of money. I don't care if she's beautiful, but... I heard she lied about her family. What? A lie? Her father is an executive at the big company, and her mother is a doctor. Her father works at the fast food restaurant, and her mother works part-time at the supermarket. That can't be true! Mary used to be in the same dorm, so she knows her well. I heard she was not popular among the girls. She was the kind of girl who would lie to get guys to like her. What? But she always wore expensive clothes, and all her belongings were brand name items. She must be from a wealthy family. She must be taking it pretty hard. Huh? Ask Ashley what she's doing now. I'm sure you'll agree. She works for... She said she's a receptionist for a big company. Are you saying that's a lie too? Yep. Then what does she do? Well, I'm a little afraid to put it into words. I heard she's so much in debt that she has to do that kind of work. Debt? You'll have to pay by yourself. Wait a minute. I don't have that kind of money. Did you spend all the money to look cool for her? Does that mean your wallet and savings are empty? Yes, please forgive me. I apologize for leaving Mary behind. Apologizing to me won't help. I will apologize to Mary. I'll go to the hospital to visit her. It's too late for you to change your attitude now. I already know who you really are. I don't think Mary will ever forgive you. Please! Our lawyer will contact you soon. James! Well then, goodbye. Mary was left in a turistan, and she was hit by a car. She was discharged from the hospital one month later. What in the hospital? With the help of her lawyer, she was able to proceed with the divorce. I found out later that Jason went to see Mary. There's another thing I found out. It was Ashley's idea to leave Mary in Turistan. She had been seeing Mary as a rival since their college days, and she wanted to steal Jason for a long time. She even planned to leave him behind. Jason and Ashley ended up breaking up. Mary demanded a reasonable amount of compensation from both of them. Ashley did not think deeply about her plan. She was surprised that she was charged so much money. She accepted the lump sum early money payment, and she has been very busy with more work. Jason's boss found out about his misdeed, and he resigned from his job. After that, his father threw him into a company run by a relative. He also worked several part-time jobs every day to pay off his debts. As for Mary, she has recovered from her injuries and has been able to return to work. My wife and I are thinking of going on a trip to a resort hotel with Mary during our upcoming vacation. Thank you for watching. 
please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.